there's still surprisingly large amounts of material. There's, there's large numbers of stories which have never yet been told. I think, for instance, of an individual like Francis Heath. Francis Heath was the lieutenant colonel of the 19th Maine, not a professional soldier. He is in effective charge of the regiment at Gettysburg, and on July 2nd, as the Federal line is breaking to pieces and the Confederate tide looks like it's about to roll over everyone, uh, Heath is in command of his main regiment as one of those posted to try to hold off the retreat of the battered Third Corps. In the midst of the smoke and the confusion, one of the division commanders of the Third Corps appears out of the battle murk, and that is Andrew Atkinson Humphreys. Humphreys' division has been chewed to pieces, and Humphreys, Humphreys is beside himself. He has had a very long and a very difficult day, and there's a way in which Humphreys has simply at this point lost it. Humphreys comes up to the 19th Maine, tells the men to fix their bayonets and to use them on any of the fleeing soldiers of his own division. And Francis Heath hears this and can't believe it. And as Humphreys is raving out of control up and down the front of the 19th Maine, Heath decides he's not going to let this stand. He's, he follows Humphreys. Humphreys is going down the line of the 19th Maine. Fix these bayonets. Use them on those men. And Heath is following behind this major general and saying, don't pay any attention to him. Don't listen to him. Don't do it. Don't do it. He says, look, we'll rally your men on our own, but we're not going to kill them the way you want to. And Humphreys, finally facing Heath's refusal to cooperate, just wanders off and he has his own uh, uh, conscience he's going to have to face. But I thought, what a remarkable moment that even in the midst of that stress and that battle, here is someone who has not lost his sense of decency and balance and is willing to do something about it, even if it means telling off a major general.